All right, let's talk about the domain and range of a polynomial. And we're going to do it graphically first. So if I have an x and y axis, so here's my x, here's my y, and I draw a polynomial in here. Now this would be a polynomial of many different degrees, but you could get something that looks kind of like this every now and then, and if you notice, I'm going to put arrows on the end. Now, this is a polynomial of a higher degree, so it's definitely not a square, it's definitely not a quadratic, it's not a cubic, um, but there's a couple things I do know about this by looking at the graph, and we'll learn that throughout the year. But just in general, if this is a polynomial, let's call this F, this graph F. If I ask you for the domain of this graph, well, my domain is the x's. So all the x values. Well, because of these arrows, it's going forever in both directions. So my domain is going to be from negative infinity to infinity. And of course, we have our curve brackets because it cannot touch infinity. And if I wanted to write this in set notation, it would be the set of all x such that x is an element of the real numbers that includes all of my x values. Now let's look at my range. The range of a polynomial, well the range is going to be, it doesn't change, it's going to be your y values. And then we're just going to look at the arrows here or at the highest or lowest point. This arrow is going up forever and this arrow is going down forever. So that means it's going to include all of my y values. So my range in a graph that looks like this is going to be from negative infinity to infinity, and if I wanted to write that in set notation, it's going to be the set of all y such that y is an element of the real numbers. So that's fairly straightforward, but there's another scenario. We could have another graph, that's one type of polynomial. The other type of polynomial is if I have my x and my y, and say we have something that looks like this. So another polynomial that's got a higher degree. It's a higher degree polynomial. If I want to find the domain of this one, I'm still going to look at my, my arrows. So my arrows are going up. So I know my domain is going forever this direction because my arrows are always going up and out, so they're going this direction. So my domain is the same as over here, negative infinity to infinity, and, or the set of all x's such that x is an element of the real numbers. Now if you notice the domain of these are the same, your domain is going to be the same for all your polynomials unless we specify otherwise. But if I just give you a generic polynomial, your domain is going to be the same all the time. Your range is going to differ though. In this case, my range, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my y values. I'm going to look and see, you know what, both of these arrows are going up. So I know it's going up to infinity. But I need to find the lowest point. Well, the lowest point right here is on the x-axis. So my lowest point is going to be, uh, is going to be zero. But it's touching it. It's touching and turning. So my range could be from, is going to be from zero to infinity. And there's going to be some rules with this. Graphically, it's easier to see domain and range, but when we just have a function, there's going to be some rules that go with this. And if I was going to write this in set notation, it would be the set of all y such that y is an element of the real numbers and y is greater than or equal to zero. Basically, it tells me every number above zero, every, every number above zero. So from here, every number going up, which we can see from the end behavior. Now, this could also be turned down. These could be flipped around. Graphically, finding domain and range is not terribly bad. Um, but when we start getting into analytically, when I just give you the equation, the domain and range is always going to be the, the domain is always going to be the same. But your range, you're going to have to pay attention to a couple of different things that we'll talk about in the next couple of videos.